Wi-Fi Sheep would like to say a huge thank you to all of you that kindly support us. Help us continue to bring new videos like this. Join patreon.com forward slash Wi-Fi Sheep from just $1 a month. Hello, how are you doing? And a warm welcome back to youtube.com forward slash Wi-Fi Sheep with me, Tom. Do you remember last month we looked at the Banana Pi P20, an expanded Pi Zero style form factor standalone ARM based single board computer sent to me by the very kind people at Banana Pi over in China. At the time, one of the reasons I chose the P20 model was its inclusion of 8GB of onboard eMMC flash storage, meaning it should be possible to flash a Linux operating system to the board and boot from it removing the need for an SD card. This along with the powerful quad-core 64-bit all-winner H3 ARM CPU and onboard wireless networking and Ethernet made for a device more or less on par with the Raspberry Pi Zero 2 with the added attraction of eMMC storage. So how easy is it to flash a bootable Linux OS to the Banana Pi's eMMC? Well, let's find out. So to start with, we need to run with the Ubuntu image on SD card. And again, the previous video, I flashed the supported Ubuntu Mate image. And this goes in the SD card slot underneath the board. And then we'll just connect in a hub with keyboard and mouse. We'll connect a video source via HDMI adapter. And we'll connect to power. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 3 power supply at 2.5 amps, 5 volts. Although I believe a stock 2 amp power supply should work perfectly fine. Okay, let's power up. And you can see we have the banana pie.org boot screen. Now this will boot Ubuntu Mate as one of the images we made last time. So we'll just let the kernel boot through. So welcome to the Ubuntu Mate desktop. Now the reason we need to use Ubuntu Mate is we have to use it as a kind of go-between in order to flash the eMMC that's on the board. So regardless of what operating system you want to install, we need to go through Ubuntu Mate. Now, because the file system for this version of Ubuntu Mate is quite limited, it's not going to be big enough to host the .img file. So for this example, I'm going to try and install Raspbian Linux that we saw running previously. And I need a copy of the .img image. Now that's the file that we would have originally flashed the SD card, but I need it in Ubuntu Mate in order to copy it across. So because it's quite a big file, I put it on a separate USB flash stick or drive. And here we have it under Banana Pi OS's. And I've got the two images. So I've got the Ubuntu Mate and I've got the Raspbian, which I'm gonna try and install. Do yourself a huge favor, right click the file, click properties, right click and copy the uh, name. Trust me, that will save you a lot of time. So what we do now is anywhere in the window space, right click, open in terminal. And we need to ask it to copy from the flash storage to the eMMC. To do that, we type sudo dd space if equals, and this is where we paste our file name in. You wouldn't want to have to type that file name manually, so we just paste it straight in. Space of equals forward slash dev forward slash mmc blk1 space bs equals 10 mb. It will now ask for the password. Now the default password, if you've not changed it, is banana pie, which is b a n. As you can see, I got the password wrong. I think I missed an A out somewhere. So that will take a minute to copy across. Uh, you won't really get any progress. You see how it's just holding with the uh, blank uh, flashing cursor. So this is going to copy a 
about seven point something gig of data across, um, which is going to take a little while. So we'll come back when that is finished. It could be well over an hour. OK, that's only about 10, 15 minutes later, so it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. And there we go. You can see how it has said how many records were recorded. So records in, records out. The number is the same. How many bytes? That's 7.7 .7 gigabytes with copied and transferred. That's now done. So with a bit of luck, we can close this. And we need to shut down our system. So we'll hit to shut down. Just wait for the banana pie to power down. There we are. Take the power off at the mains. Take out the HDMI. The reason being is you need to get to the SD card. We should now be able to take the SD card out the board. So this board, I'll just show you underneath, now does not have an SD card on board. We're going to put the VO back in, HDMI back in. Now, if this has worked successfully, we should be able to power back up. We should boot Raspbian Linux, a, a copy of the official Raspberry Pi operating system, and it should run to the desktop and it should boot without needing an SD card. Let's find out. There's a boot screen. Ah, there's a boot kernel. This is looking very promising. Obviously not being a Raspberry Pi, it looks a little different, but there we go. And there it is, there is Pixel Desktop. And we are actually now running natively off the eMMC flash storage, not off SD card, which means you'll notice, and I noticed this for some other devices as well, if you run off eMMC, your OSs run a lot faster than they would just running through an SD card. So that is absolutely fantastic. And that's worked really, really well. I'm really pleased with that. Now I'm not connected to any internet or anything, but let's just try and let's see how far the web browser, how quickly the web browser boots. It's a lot faster. Oh my goodness, yes, it's a lot faster. You have the advantage of the all-winner H3 ARM chip on board, which is a quad-core 64-bit processor. But running natively like this is so much faster. Let's have a look at... LibreOffice is always a very good example. So let's see open LibreOffice Writer, see how fast that loads. Libre has always traditionally been quite slow on boards like this. Yeah, really, really good performance. And you get that performance as soon as you leave the bottleneck of trying to run these sort of boards off SD card. Let's um, let's see what uh, Scratch is like, because obviously that's a bit of a mainstay of um, most uh, recipes. So Scratch or Scratch 2, let's say Scratch 2, and we'll see how long that takes. Bearing in mind, we're running on a zero type board here. There we go. Yeah. So very usable, very usable as a desktop. Depends what you want to do, but yeah, that's impressive. So I hope you'll agree, really impressive stuff. And amazing to see just how fast a lightweight single board computer can be when not having to load from SD card all the time. I should just make it very clear that the Banana Pi cannot boot Raspberry Pi SD cards or image files. The Raspberry Linux used was supplied by Banana Pi from their website and is compiled especially to work on Banana Pi hardware. Now, I have been looking into some third party ports of RetroPi for the Banana Pi system, which does lead to some tantalizing prospects of being able to build emulated games machines and cabinets without the need for SD cards, if the RetroPi OS can be flashed to the Banana Pi's eMMC. And the small form factor of the M20 does open it up to all sorts of IoT and other type builds and embedded projects. If you're interested in what you've seen in this video, do check out banana-pi.org 
And as always, links are in the description to this video. If you haven't done so already, please do consider liking and subscribing. And I'll see you real soon, right here on the channel. Until next time, thanks so much for your company and bye for now.